Hey guys, Todd Huey from Lone Star Boars here. We are doing the thermal monocular shootout. We have the Armasite Q14 640. We have the IR Patrol M250, which is 640 resolution. And we have the Armasite Prometheus 640. Now we have them all lined up on tripods right now along with the regular camera um, pointed at me. I had some cattle in the background when this all started but they've moved off in the time that it takes to get uh, four recorders, four tri tripods, and everything lined up and focused on the spot. So I tried to have them 100 yards in the background, but they're just moving around today. Um, it's, it's in the mid to high 80s this weekend. It's very, very humid. I don't know if the microphone's picking it up, but we have thunder in the background. It's actually raining behind us right now, and around us it has been raining here. So um, I took this time of a little spot and break in the rain to film this. I know the Q14 is waterproof to 20 meters. I do not know about the IR Patrol. Um, I think it's just water resistance, but I am not 100% sure at this point in time, so I do not want to ruin a several thousand dollar thermal monocular that does not belong to me. The Armorsite Prometheus is water resistant, but um, there are times and known problems of water getting into the standard lines um, on off switch so we don't want to do any more than we have to to ruin another thermal that does not belong to me so anyways hopefully I don't know like I said looks like all the cows are gone so you probably just have me in the picture here but I am right now 10 yards 12 yards from the cameras um, hopefully you can see the field of view Hopefully I'm in focus. I did the best to, to get it focused on this part. So uh, this is just one of many things. This will be the, the opening for the video. I've videoed um, a sounder of hogs and some uh, knee-high knee wheat last night. I got some um, cattle on video for you. I also did a little bit of urban environments um, this week with highways, cars, gas stations. So. I'm going to show you a little bit of everything and you can see all the different environments and um, that way you can you can go off these to um, make your choices. But anyway, so this is the start of the thermal monocular shootout. Lone Star. And here we'll start with the Q14 640 30 hertz. These are cattle at 10 all the way out to probably a little bit actually past 50 yards back there. You can actually see the, the gnats, see the brands, and it is, it is sprinkling. We're in, we're in the 90 percentile humidity right now. Here's the Prometheus 2X 640, same cattle, same spot, same thing, 90 percent humidity. Light misting, light rain. See a line go through every once in a while. That was actually me hitting the cable on the recorder. That's not actually in the site. You can see the brands on the cattle there. Very high detail. Same cattle, IR Defense, IR Patrol, the M250, 640. This looked much better through the scope. They all lose a little bit of resolution, but for whatever reason, the IR Defense Patrol and Hunters do not put out the same resolution video as what you're seeing. It was on line with the Prometheus in, in visual in detail. In the, the high humidity with its small lens, it fell a little bit behind. You lost some detail, but it did not look like this. Next, we're going to go to hogs that are 100 to 150 yards out, actually. It is raining right now, high wind, and this is the Q14. This is what the Q14 looks like after it's very first started up. You see those what look like rain spots on the lens? Those, when you very first start it, for the first 10 to 15 minutes, those are there. Here's the Prometheus. Same hogs. 
same rain, same wind, 100 to 150 yards. Going through the different palettes just so you can see. With the IR Patrol, you don't have the color palettes because it's a monochrome lens. So I just showed you the options here. Again, I prefer black hot in most situations. But that rain actually looks very good when it is raining outside. Um, I've learned to use it when shooting with the when the zoo scopes. Here's the IR Patrol M250. Same hogs, 100 yards. This time the video out looks better, but it's still it's losing resolution. Again, with the smaller lens, it 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 loses detail. It loses, but you can tell the hogs are out there. Um, which which is the the purpose of a monocular but the image in the scope is better than what you're seeing here why why they they didn't match i mean the armor sights do not come out full you you're always losing a little bit in translation from video especially to youtube but it's a significant difference in these and here i went through the different palettes we went through white hot there's three versions of white hot three black hot and then now I added this to the end just because I felt that the IR Patrol was such a difference from looking through the scope. This is through the MDVR recorder right here. This is my dog at 10 yards in the backyard. It's about somewhere between 80 to 90 percent humidity right now. It's a little cooler tonight but it's not raining. This is with a camera hooked up behind the scope and this is what you actually see through the scope. You can see the monochrome lens or, or screen. It gives a little, a little bit different tint to it. The wheel in the background is probably is about 40 yards back. But you can see there is a, a tad bit more detail when looking through the screen than the recording. This is all the units side by side. I threw the uh, L3 MTM there in the middle. You have the Patrol on left, the Prometheus next, the MTM, and then finally by the 12 gauge shotgun shell, you have the Q14. And then there's a quarter in front and a shotgun shell in there just to let you know about the size. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please click here to subscribe to see future videos. Thank you for watching.